Hey, this is Red Ark, and I'm here with Brian Fulton of Goose Gear. And I, I saw recently that you guys have roots dating back to 1952. Yeah, What's that about? Who started that? So that was actually started by my wife's grandfather. So they're in the countertop manufacturing business. Mm -hmm. It's a lifelong family business. Um, my wife has been there for a long time. My father-in-law actually bought the business from his dad in the late 70s and continued the business. And then my wife was in that industry her whole life, basically. I was in the cabinet business. Uh, we did cabinetry. Mm -hmm. We did residential, a little bit of commercial, mostly residential back then. And uh, when my father-in-law decided it was time to retire, my wife and I, we opened our own place. She brought some of her clients, I brought some of my clients, and we basically joined forces. Mm -hmm. So we had cabinets and countertops now, and we did both items. Uh, oddly enough, we're two doors, two driveways down from where that building was built, you know, back in the late 70s. So it's kind of weird that we drive down the same street that she drove down forever. Um, and now that's where we're manufacturing stuff. So that's kind of how we got our start. We were in well, the cabinet you, business. Yeah, how, what was the transition point from cabinetry, cabinetry to in vehicle cabinetry. In vehicle stuff, yeah. yeah. So really what happened with us is I I was working crazy hours. Mm -hmm. You know, this is 2010 through 2014. And we're working just like crazy because there's no work. You know, the market is in the tank for construction. That's after the economic collapse mm -hmm. in the 2007, 2008. And so we were just working like crazy. And I was killing myself, working 70, 80 hours a week. And uh, 2014, I remember waking up just like in a panic, just realizing that, hey, my daughter's 14 is 10 mm -hmm. at that time and uh i'm like holy cow we haven't done anything epic we haven't gone anywhere we haven't i mean we, we had traveled and seen family but we haven't done anything really really cool yeah and so at that point i said you know what that's it i'm not working 80 hours a week i'm not killing myself anymore i'm gonna spend time with my daughter and we're gonna go out we're gonna travel and do stuff and i had done four-wheeling when i was a young kid and so started looking on youtube of course and was looking at stuff and came across uh andrew st pierre white over oh, yeah. there and he's freaking awesome and then i came across x overland in their first season and i was like that's how i got wait. into it as well yeah right yeah. and i was just like you can do that you mean you can go wheeling and then go camping and then go further and go further and go further and it was like that was it i was sold and so basically sold my truck uh the next week bought a forerunner and then because we had a cabinet shop took my daughter in the store in the shop we 3d rendered up a nice cabinet for the back built it up put it on the cnc machine built it and you know basically went in the more on saturday morning at noon, we were done building this beautiful. So the Forerunner was cabinet. the first Goose Gear platform built. Yep. Nice. The first thing we ever built, and we still have that drawer sitting at the shop right now. It's nice. just sitting up in storage, um, and so we have that. And uh, started going camping, and I posted some pictures of that rendering mm -hmm. and the drawer on AmericanAdventurist.com. And a few months later, Dave, the owner of American Adventurist, sent me a message and he goes, "Hey, would you be interested in building some cabinets for my Tacoma with a flip pack?" And I responded immediately, of course, "Yeah, sure, I'd love to." Right? I, and when I posted, I thought, "Hey, maybe there's some kind of yeah. we'll get a little business. We make cabinets, but maybe I'll do a little side work, something fun." And uh, I had to Google what a flip pack was because I didn't even know what it was at the time. <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm totally like, yeah, no problem, I got this." And then I realized, "Oh yeah, I don't know what that is." And then when I saw a picture, I was like, "Oh my god, I have to have one of those." Yeah. Um, and so that's really how we got our start. And then Dave, of course, was instrumental because he had been in the he industry. He blows up everything. Yeah. yeah. And he's been in the industry so long. So he really was like, look, do this, do this, don't do this, don't do this. And really it was very, very educational for me. So it really helped us get going. Did your daughter have something to do with the name? Yeah. Actually, her, her name is uh, Goose, my nickname. That's why I call her ever since she was just mm -hmm. an infant. So her nickname is Goose, and I call her Goose. And one that's of my awesome. Said, Keeping hey. the family like yeah, that. Right? Exactly. So um, that's why it's Goose Gear. So I know you guys also do a lot with Red Arc integrating... Red Visions, the TV, TVMS, and like, especially the seat deletes. Absolutely, absolutely. We're uh, we're integrating a lot of uh, Red Arc right now. Mm -hmm. We're doing a lot of design, product design around Red Arc stuff. Um, we actually have in my Land Cruiser on display, just outside of our booth, across from our booth, we have it on display. We so we did a whole Red Arc system on the mounted to the back of a camp kitchen, mm -hmm. and they put a battery box below it, so it's all like this little self-contained zone of all nice. electronics. Looks really good. Centrally located. Exactly. And then in the Allard cabs, we're doing some stuff where we have a dedicated box system, so you have a dedicated place, but a Group 31, you know, lithium gel, whatever kind of battery you want, and then full Red Arc system, the Red Vision, the management. It's all clean. Everything. It's all hidden. I've seen it. It's beautiful. It's, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. So we're trying to do some stuff where it's kind of integrated make it easy more plug and play for people because the electrical side is a difficult side very much so you know it's not there's a, there's a there's a bunch of good shops in the country but there's not a lot of good shops so it's going to be hard to service this so if we can help make that easier then that's just going to be better for everybody if it's installed right the first time you don't have to worry about it exactly yeah. and that's what we're shooting for well where can everybody can find your information and you know get a hold of you yeah so um you can see us on instagram of course at at goose gear and also on our website at goose-gear.com so goose-gear.com I appreciate you. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Have a good one.